Oh. Welcome to the City of Glendale special meeting of the Arts and Culture Commission on May 16th, 2019. Roll call, please. Commissioners Oshigan? Yes. Tufankian? Yes. Vice Chair Zadorian? Yes. Chairperson Vidor? Yes. The agenda for the May 16th special meeting was posted on the bulletin board outside City Hall on May 15th, 2019. We have one item, please. I, item two. Uh, item two, business agenda at 2A, discussion item, placement for first iconic art piece. Okay. Um, and there is no staff report. There is no, okay. So this is a follow on to um, previous discussion we had where we agreed that we would agendize a discussion of um, our favorite or preferred, based on community input and our own opinions, uh, preferred places for a significant iconic piece of art. So we can start with um, um, whoever wants to go first. And this is specifically only about one thing. It's a discussion item. It's not an action item. So you can state what you wish. We aren't voting on anything. And um, I'm ready to go around the table. Should I start? You're looking at sure. me. Should I start? Go, <laughs> go for it. Um, so at the risk of perhaps muddying the waters a little bit, um, I did go through uh, the Corbin I site quite a bit, and there's lots of interesting comments, lots of things. And, and what I realized when I was thinking about what, what it is that we may want is that it's very hard to separate, in my mind, the thing and the place, right? Because it is very much a site-specific Installation that we want, the permanent installation. Um, and so um, I had a hard time saying, okay, this is a good spot. But then immediately the question was, what's going there? And so now then I say, if that's going there, is that a good spot for that thing? And so this kind of a chicken and the egg kind of process started happening in my mind that you, I can't separate the thing and the place. So we have to discuss not only the place, but at the same time, what kind of art uh, we would like to have in that place. Am I overstepping my bounds here? Madam Chair and Commissioners. <laughs> um, uh, so, oh, so this discussion is specific to uh, the place. Thing could possibly come up on a later agenda item. Um, uh, but just uh, to point out that um, today you may end up, you're making no decisions, we're just talking about various places, and when I've seen such calls before, it would be, um, here are three possible locations of art, you know, um, make a proposal. Mm -hmm. And then that artist knows the place, and then the artist makes a proposal um, based on place. Uh, typically, that, or that is one way that that could happen. Yes, that can, but for instance, if, you, if we look at downtown, there's very little space. So if you want to do something downtown, you could do something very significant and very large downtown, but it would have to go upwards, right? So you could even do something in front of the library, for instance. There isn't a large footprint, but you could do something that goes up. There are sculptures that go up hundreds of feet, you know, which become really significant in a city. Um, I mean, it's possible. Right, so if you're thinking of, of that, so there's a small space, but the thing goes uh, vertical. If you go further out from the center of the city to the more of the suburbs of Glendale, let's say, there's more space, and so it's possible to do something that goes more horizontal. And so the nature of the art uh, would be impacted by that. Mm -hmm. You could also have a, a piece that has a similar pieces across the city, multiple places that connect to each other and somehow that are permanent. And so as you walk or you go around the city, you see this thing kind of repeating itself in a kind of, in this fashion, right? So it's kind of thinking a little bit outside the box of just one traditional sculpture that we may think about, like the bean. We've been, we started with the bean, right? But I'm, now I'm thinking, we, we know we, we should consider a bean-like thing, but also we should consider other things that could live multiple places that reflect on, it, on itself, um, that um, could go vertical, it could be technology-based. It could even be 
uh, kinetic art that would be maintained. You know, you have a very, we put in a um, healthy budget for maintaining it. It's not a sculpture that you don't have to maintain much, but if it's a kinetic thing, that has to be constantly maintained. So it, it, it becomes, even though it's kinetic, it's maybe moving or things like that, it could become permanent. It could go beyond the three years or, what was our, our definition of permanent? Ten, ten years, whatever. Well, we have no definition of fishery commission. We don't have one yet. <laughs> We will well, hopefully soon. I, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> so um, could, could these are these are my thoughts. These yeah. are just this you, sort of the starting and point those, for those me. Those are really good, and there I think they're really good thoughts to consider in the discussion about the places. And I especially like your thing about well, why couldn't like if we had three favorite places, why couldn't this iconic work of art be three related things in three different places? It could. Um, I. I think also, because it says iconic piece of art, it's like we're putting all our eggs in this basket, and this is not like the end of, like once we do this, we can like die happy. I mean, I think we, no, no, we no. It, 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 this is just one piece of art. There hopefully will be many. And I think we should really, assuming that anything that an artist comes with is going to be site specific, because there are gonna be sites identified, we should, you know, consider what you just said because it's important and talk about where we envision because we do have to come up with places. And it is going to be site-specific work. And I think we're going to help the artists through the application process use their imaginations. They're going to have to learn about Glendale and the sites that we've identified. and understand the city and its heritage and its history and what's going on now so that it is meaningful in the place it lands or places that it lands. But we have to identify those places or, you know, we can't leave the room till we do that. So um, do you have any f special places in terms of, you know, not, don't assume anything about the art. It could be anything. It could be anywhere. But what places sing out to you as for placement of iconic art. Don't think vertical, horizontal, or, or yeah, I, I guess either. I didn't just think I mean, I place. Didn't, <laughs> there's a few places, but I guess I didn't really get that far because I wanted to consider the type of art that we would want. I uh, think we should so, leave that open. But I mean, we can have, we can make lists of things. Um, as, you know, so so the, as I said, it impacts, for instance, if we want something that's large, physically large, it would have to be, you know, perhaps like the, the, the parking lot in front of Glendale College, right, right across the street from the Catholic Church, for instance, that parking lot, which was going to be the original site of the Armenian American Museum, right? Glendale so that College. could be one of the sites where the you could do... Civic Auditorium. Right. Um, which I think it's an underused parking lot. Um, we want a large piece, but if we think of pieces that could be contained in smaller footprints but have multiple of them, then that would be, that would be different. Well, yeah, right? The could, artist will work within the framework of the, of the selected site. Yeah, but it's a completely different artist whether the, it's a footprint is small or whether it's a large piece. That's, that's what I'm struggling with. But I think maybe somebody else should comment. Because <laughs> <laughs> We're not picking um, the art, and we're, I don't. I think once the application process goes out. No, but I'm not saying we're picking the art, but but the kind of art we envision will inform the kind of places we decide we could use. That's what I'm saying. Interesting. I was thinking right. the place would inform the art, not the art would inform. Well, that's where I, I started from that, but then I you know, changed. I kind of changed my thinking. I think, um, and so maybe we should you know, I don't know, maybe we should take a very kind of a wide sort of a wide breadth of, of possibility um, and not think of something very physically large, but something that could go vertical, that could have a small footprint, that could replicate itself across the city, for instance. Okay. Who's next? Um, I'll go next. Okay. Um, so same as Commissioner Oshagan, looked at the co-urbanized um, map quite a bit and um, taking into consideration what some of the constituents said, um, the inputs, um, I kind of felt like 
microphone. Uh, oh, speak. No, no. Oh, sorry. Um, so looking at the co-urbanized uh, map, I felt like um, looking at some of the um, uh, the comments that were proposed or put on co-urbanized, I think uh, it looked like coming down brand was the main um, main place for most of the comments and most of the um, existing artwork, um, but I think maybe an archway or uh, iconic piece would have to be um, perhaps placed, be placed in a gateway to the city. So maybe looking at the traffic count of where it would be most, tra uh, most impactful. Uh, one of the places I would think would be good uh, to have an iconic piece might be a, North North Brand at the freeway, or perhaps even more um, important might be in South Glendale at the uh, border of Atwater. So perhaps uh, I think the traffic count there is quite high, and Atwater being an art city might you know might be an interesting place for it. There are multiple gateways, right? There are multiple gateways. You could have gateways, an artist so. do multiple gateways that right. kind of play off a particular theme that we're interested in, right? So I think you know having that uh, the multiple locations is really good. Even though I think one of them should be an iconic piece, and perhaps you know where the Sealy Building, mm -hmm. you know that might be a good entryway into the city. Thank you. Uh, so I'm actually looking at the map currently and from different ideas. We obviously assumed we would want an iconic piece somewhere within downtown in the arts and entertainment district. However, I think we all understand that it's already very dense uh, and they would be great locations, let's say arts office for temporary pieces temporary. that uh, change out after a certain amount of time. An iconic piece should be somewhere less foot traffic where it wouldn't cause traffic, but enough where it will draw attention to people. I do like the idea of brand and the freeway, however, rather on brand in Glen Oaks. There is an area there where, um, I was looking on the map on the corner, there is some sort of a parkway with like a walk in front of the Hilton Hotel. So there is space, I'm not sure if that's city land or if that is part of the Hilton's land. So that is an option, um, and I'm not exactly sold on the idea of doing uh, having art, the iconic piece somewhere on the edges of the city. I would rather it be somewhere like, let's say, that parking lot next to Civic Center. That's a great idea. It connects North and South Glendale to each other. Uh, it's kind of halfway in the middle. It's an incredible space that does not get utilized other than for selling Christmas trees and pumpkins <laughs> twice a year and a circus. Uh, they do, so they I do, do think drag racing a, or something they were like motorcycle racing or that um, I think it's great and it's right by Glendale Community College one of the staples of our city is that public property I would assume it's public we can find out from our staff for next time um, well, it was going to be the site of the American Armenian Museum right so that means they so were it had to be yeah it out. was it's definitely public that parking lot okay. but there was and resistance from the neighborhood the entire parking lot we'd be yeah. taking off a portion of the parking lot which is rarely used for the art, so I do agree. Um, and it has lots of traffic. It's right by freeway entrance, right by the school, uh, great area location, ha the city meets halfway. So I agree that would be a great location or the brand. I, I wouldn't go anywhere south, more south, because there isn't enough land to make an iconic piece of substance like that. That would be better for um, neighborhood art or temporary pieces. For a permanent piece, I would, I would go towards those two areas, not go any more north towards, like, let's say, Brand Park already has its own area, so we will let that be for now and kind of work with temporary pieces when it comes to that. So for an iconic piece, I agree those are two great pieces, so I'm taking from both of you. Uh, Commissioner Zadorian, just for clarification purposes, yes. in front of the Hilton, um, were you 
thinking of the median or it sounded like you meant property no. that was actually property. adjacent to the Hilton? Adjacent. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's actual the Hilton because it's on the corner. I think, I think it, there's a little street and it's across the street from the Hilton, so I'm not sure if it's, it belongs to the Hilton. Yeah, it's like on we'll off out. of Glen Oaks, right? It's off of Glen Oaks. And Past Arden. Rand. Uh, yeah, that's right where I live. On the corner. And actually on Co-Urbanize, there it's are like people that park. marked that exact area. So it would be great on yeah. that corner. Because during lunchtime, if you're ever in that area, it's right by the Equinox building, Whole Foods, uh, and New York Life building. Tons of foot traffic. I mean, tons. People are walking to Trader Joe's, riding, Trader Joe's, yeah. coffee beans. So it's a great area and lots of people driving mm. by. So you will not miss it. You'll know you're in Glendale. And it's on Glen Oaks. I mean, mm. it's the, our main street. So, I mean, it's possible we could have different scale sculptures that are related to each other, different parts of the city. So it's sort of the iconic piece is multi-dimensional, so it doesn't exist in one place. But we can have one, if we can do it, maybe a large one, or sort of maybe the first iteration would be in like one place, a large place, like the parking lot. And then you can have different parts of it, different parts of the city, so like it kind of spreads gateways, out across the city. And stuff. Well, those would be the temporary pieces, right, that we wanted at gateways and whatnot. No, no, no but I'm, I'm trying cool. to get this idea across of, of an we, we, um, iconic do, piece. Let everybody right. have a, have a okay. turn, and then we'll go another round. Okay. 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 And Thank then you. remember, we're not trying to get to any consensus here. We're not no, trying to second to each yeah. other or anything like that. Just yeah. getting input. Yeah, let's, let's do another round, because I think everybody's still once okay. yeah stuff um so i agree with everybody um and <laughs> please come uh, yeah. we're just getting you're not supposed wait. to agree <laughs> you're I not mean, supposed all, to agree it's all good yeah that's my <laughs> politic way um no i really i really think it's all good ideas um i i like also the idea of there's something kind of iconic in and of itself but very very underappreciated and, un, and really under under nurtured is our big median strip. Um, we have two, one on Glen, Glen Oaks and one on Brand. I don't know if there are any other really big ones, but um, I see some kind of connectivity there using either sculpture or lights at, you know, at night to give an art piece new dimension and it becomes kind of like, have any of you been to um, O'Hare Airport, the United Airlines terminal and seen the Helmet Jan? Um, um, neon, you walk through a very long air, airline tunnel there and it's, an, it's basically a neon fantasy land with music playing and everything and you're, you're in this, this thing and I'm not saying it would be like an entirely covered thing but if we could do something connective with those two median strips which are highly trafficked and very publicly visible um, and maybe even connect the two, like we could call it, you know, the T instead of the bean, it's the T, you know, brand and then Glen Oaks, and it's some kind of evolving piece that just works as one, and it may be incremental pieces, or it may be one long connective piece, I don't know, but I, I see those two median strips, and I think in Co-Urbanize they were heavily discussed too, as being really, really good, so. That would, those are my two favorites. Any, so we can go another round now if anybody wants to continue. Yes. Okay, go ahead. All right, I totally agree with the median streets. I think that's very, very cool to have. Um, but I don't think that would be the iconic piece, in my opinion. I think mm. the iconic piece mm. is um, maybe the piece that you first see when you first get to Glendale. Like um, something that, you know. The ends of the median. Yes. Yeah. So something that would define Glendale, um, it would be the first thing that you see and it would kind of define Glendale as an art city. Um, or if it's not at one of the uh, entryways, I think it could also be at the central, uh, at the central library. So somewhere central, so it's, um, th that there would be a lot of foot traffic and a lot of, uh, events going on there, you know, with, uh, with the music, with the, with the reflect space, with Americana right there. I think there's just a lot going on there, and I think that would be uh, a, a meeting place mm -hmm. to say, so. I'm moving towards the end of not picking one place, but picking them all, right? And so the, the idea with artists would find some 
what's the word, a motif, a theme, an idea, maybe a light source, maybe something that would then be pop populate all these different spaces. So the gateway, we have a gateway. I don't know if anybody saw the picture of the uh, way, way, gateway in New York. He made it in one of the parks, tremendous, really, really interesting gateway that had mirrors in it, for instance. Mm. Um, there are, we could have, so that theme that this artist selects could bounce around all these different things. And so it could be a large, very uh, large piece if we have space. It could be along the median, it has to be long and thin, kind of, uh, it, it develops in that direction. We could have a downtown, we could have many different places. So, it, so it's kind of an iconic multi-piece thing that wherever you go to Glendale almost, you run into it. And we'd have to, you know, South Glendale, we can't ignore South Glendale, it's very important. Mm -hmm. So having a gateway there, a significant gateway would be very important. And Montrose, you didn't mention Montrose. <laughs> so we could have one, Montrose which, have, which, which would have the same kind of thematic approach, either, you know, the motif or the elements that are used, the, the that they would connect, and then Glenda would be connected with this sort of. That's, what, that's like. Yeah. I think that sounds, sounds like a, it would be different. I mean, I don't see. I don't I haven't seen that anywhere in any city, so it would be very different. I think. Can I make a response to that? Yeah. I think um, if we if we limit to thematic or um, material use, then we're limiting ourselves to a lot of great art that could come out. And I think it would be interesting to have a lot of diversity in the art around the city. So, um, you know, I wouldn't want to. But see if you, if, but so the high, if you have an iconic piece. In, in multiple places. That's what I'm saying. It's so not would one. It be the same artist, or yeah. So I would. I'm imagining you have one artist is has this concept of an iconic piece, but the piece isn't one. It's multiple, and depending if it's immediate, it takes some form. If it's a parking lot, it takes some other form. In front of the library, you could have this this tall structure that, but it's it's riffing on that same kind of idea and theme that we as a commission hand off to the artist and the artist develops. So we have two comes up ideas with. evolving here. One is that it seems like we, we have these different locations and we're thinking, well, we're talking about multiple iconic pieces, so we sh would choose a location uh, or have it be, you know, multiple iconic pieces in d different locations or it's one continuous thematic yeah, yeah, piece yeah. that lands in different locations. So there's like two ideas. and. I'll add that I, I like the idea of um, the end of the median strip at um, where the Sealy building is. Mm -hmm. The other day I drove down there, and first of all, it's like really like the landscaping got all weedy and everything. So when you come in, you know, you're hit with that median strip. And just, you know, forget about art, art for a minute. It should be fabulous because that is the first thing people see when they come into the city. Mm -hmm except for the Seeley building, which is a great building, so at least they get to see that. But then you see our median strip, and it should be a fantastic median strip. But then that would be a good place to be hit with something right, artistic, please. because it is the bridge between L.A., which is very artistic, and Atwater is known for being artistic, and our city. So I like starting there and then moving north which is kind of what happened to Glendale. It started there and moved north. Just quickly, a time check. It's 3.56, so okay. 4 o'clock is our end time. Um, it was the hope for end time hope so that you time. can get oh, to, to, to wrap, dinner, can, lunch, and we any can wrap. We have a lot of information one here. One more comment from uh, Savannah. So, so the only thing I'm, I'm seeing that everybody's so kind of agreeing on, we all have lots of locations we want. We have, a lots, of, we have lots of ideas. The only thing is which one of these is for the iconic, because even the ones you guys are naming can still be temporary pieces. Um, and the, the only problem I have with the median um, center divider, from what I know from council meetings, they had plans to do something with that, so having a permanent piece there might not be the best idea mm. in case they do tear it apart and do something with it, like having, I think, a tram is what oh. they had discussed. The red car. Yeah, so if that is to happen in the near future, there's no way we can have a permanent piece 
and rather a temporary peace until that were to happen because that wouldn't happen for another 10 years most likely five to ten years <coughs> temporary peace would fall into that so that would be a great idea for temporary the gateways I thought we had kind of discussed these as kind of neighborhood and art temporary art that comes up so when you're entering Glendale you know you're in Glendale just thinking of different ideas of set the iconic pieces that I know from around the world they've generally been in the center of a city, whether it's the Eiffel Tower, it's the Bean, it's in the financial mm -hmm. district, whether it's in uh, San Francisco, New York, wherever it is, wherever you go, usually you're in the dead center of a city and the night, li the, the, the kind of city life. So I don't know if having it on the edges of the city makes too much sense for that. For gateway piece, I completely agree, like having the away way entrance, walking into the city, you know you're in Glendale, that makes sense. But for an iconic piece, I thought we were going more towards the Bean, the I Heart Amsterdam, not to be corny and say I Heart Glendale, but something along those lines of I know I'm in Glendale, I'm in, I'm in the dead center, um, something along those lines. So where, where do we want an iconic piece like that to go? I know we want things that connect here and there, but those are great for temporary pieces, not for the permanent, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's up for um, whatever we so discuss. The, <laughs> the problem with downtown is there's no space for yeah. like a large iconic so piece. On the edges of downtown. <laughs> I, I think so. We, I, I mean, think we uh, need to reagendize this, and maybe maybe we could even put it on standing agenda items with you know how you have your you know everything is lumped together, mm -hmm. and we summarize what we discussed today because a lot of good ideas j just got generated, but we certainly didn't. You know, decide anything, and well, we and that wasn't the, to. the goal. Was that wasn't the decide. goal? Yeah. So we got a lot of good stuff out there. We have the you know gateway versus center. We have type of art versus don't think about that. We have <laughs> multiple pieces that that connect with one another versus just one. So there was a lot, and I think we should just move on from there and start to develop a draft call from our discussions like and and I would suggest that everybody it's a really fun to read the public art calls on cafe and they're very revealing and they really give you a lot of ideas about how other cities deal with the same dilemma we're discussing so maybe we could move off co-urbanize now that we've done that and we could look on cafe and you can select public calls and you can be very specific and look at what you want to look at. And there's some really good ones there that might, you know, spark some more discussion. So um, do we want to continue this or just um, adjourn the meeting now and continue it the next time? Can I make a suggestion? That's up yeah. to the commission. He wants, um, Ara wants to make a suggestion. Can we have a retreat? <laughs> to talk about this art retreat. <laughs> yes, I think this is like this is this could be perhaps the most significant thing we do. We, we'll do a lot of temporary art, right, and, and draw people to Glendale. But you know, as the legacy of this commission, this could be the most significant thing we do, and we shouldn't. We shouldn't. Uh, so, so I know these are difficult to organize. Madam Chair, members of the commission. <laughs> um, so the the plan because this is a big. Um, thing, the idea was not to try and decide it in a day or in a, you know, to bring it back each meeting to discuss different uh, angles or components of it. And so if we don't feel this conversation is done around placement, then yes, let's bring it back. But the idea was to kind of stretch it out over time because also what's going to happen is you're going to have that intuitive thought at some point and that may come after that. Um, you know, that kind of one day meeting. So the idea was kind of to continue talking about it because it is an important decision uh, and important things and, and ultimately a recommendation to city council, obviously. Um, so, um, so that was more the thinking behind it was kind of visiting this over several uh, meetings. Yeah, I think, I think okay. there should that be a makes report sense. on what we discussed today and we'll just keep building that report and looking at more public calls and kind of building this into a definition of what we're talking about. So I would like to agendize it. Um, I don't know if this is practical as a standing agenda item and we'll just build on it until we get to the point where we feel we know what we want. Mm -hmm. And then have the retreat. 
And then <laughs> <laughs> because I feel okay. like unless you sit around a table to be unless you sit yes. around the table and discuss it, it's like it okay. doesn't well, really we, we, okay. figure out the details. But but next time anyway. we will do, we will just take it further on the agenda. Yes. So meeting adjourned. Thank you.